How you doing? Extremely well. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, That's because we went where no man has gone before. Big, big time. I just want to pick up where he left off. So I just saw the movie Arrival. You, you saw it? We know about it, yes. Okay. So the first thing I want to ask is kind of a fun thing. Do you go with Esther or do you just see it whenever you want to see it? We went with you. What's up? We went with you. Thank you. That was cool. Appreciate that. Esther saw it too. Yes. Yeah. So from what he was saying, you were saying, and from what I took from that movie, okay. Did anyone see it? Some? We'll tell you. Yeah. I figure you called me up. Spoiler alert. Yeah. I figure you... You let me discuss it because, so I feel there's some. Um... The movie is about <laughs> <laughs> what appear to be alien, enormous pods, 12 of them, position themselves around the earth in different countries and allow the governments of those countries to begin attempting to accomplish communication with them. That's the basis of the movie. Yeah. So, and they're not speaking English. <laughs> they're speaking as we speak to Esther yeah. in blocks of thought, yeah. offering blocks of thought, which at some unconscious level, Esther finds the physical word equivalent. And yeah. together we build a language not different from what is going on there. Yes. So what I took from that movie, there was a couple things, obviously, but the main thing I took from that movie is what you were speaking with this gentleman about before. But the next level of that, I just felt so strongly after I left the movie that beyond a reasonable doubt that I have such an amazing power to be able to mold, script my life the exact way that I want it to be. Do you think that right now, in this moment, that you have full comprehension of the vortex that you have accomplished? Yes. Well, you don't. Okay. You don't have full comprehension of what's going on here. Okay. No because I does. don't need to. You don't need to because there's so much. A lot of it came with you when you were born. Sure. Intentions that you held as energy coming forth. Okay. When you know what you don't want and know what you do want, all of the components that you've put there, and then the evolution of those components and their relationship with each other, this is incomprehensible in any moment in time. That's what we mean when we say it would take you 20 or 30 lifetimes to allow what's vibrationally there and ready for you to be manifested in your experience. But most humans are allowing a scanty amount of it when you could be allowing so much more. So. The key to your really joyful life experience is to accept that it is there and then to position yourself vibrationally so that you can be a ready receiver of the impulses. So let's just pretend that, and we say pretend because it's not quite this way, that you, in all that you've lived, have already created this life experience exactly as you mean for it to be in its continuing, evolving becoming state. So let's just say it's already done. And you want manifestation, 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 manifestation. Or that's what you think you want. But what you really want is the fun of all of this turning into manifestation. What you're here for is the full understanding and recognition. In other words, when we said to you, do you think you have full comprehension of what's there? And you said, yes. But that is your quest. But not all at once, any more than you want to eat all of the food that you will eat in this lifetime today. You want this magnificent life experience to continue to unfold to you for the satisfaction of being alive. So there will always be this vibrational precursor, this vibrational prepaving, and the thrill of life, the sweet spot of the human experience is to be in that receptive mode so that as you're receiving it, you get to witness and enhance the unfoldment of it. Does that make sense to you? It, it makes sense. The power is way more about, because, you know, when I left the movie, I, I went about doing some things, right? And so I have this thing about, I know that it's purely about the feeling place, period. And the power is in the mood and the, the feeling place and the emotion.
and that there's not really anything for me ever to do scripting, writing, process. There is no process. The process is happiness. Except that we're just going to take a couple of minutes here because we're right on the verge of something that a lot of you are going to get for the first time. So let's just say that manifestation is thrilling. Go along with that. Esther says that to us all the time. Abraham, as much as I like thinking these thoughts, when a manifestation happens, I really, really, really like that. And she says, and I don't care what you say, Abraham, that moment when those lions were put there was way better than the picture of them. It just was. Let's start with the agreement that you're here in these physical bodies and that manifestations are great and that they matter a lot. But then let's acknowledge that there are manifestations all the way along to the manifestations that it's all about manifesting and that even when a thought occurs to you that's a manifestation that wasn't there before when there's nebulous thoughts that are unfocused floating around and you're sort of drifting about that's not satisfying but when you get into a vibrational state where you can be the receiver of the thought that you set into motion and that your inner being enhanced and that law of attraction added to and that the cooperative components have made bigger and now you're in the receptive mode and now you receive that bigger thought that that's better than it was before and it's gonna get bigger and better and bigger and better and bigger and better and bigger and better and bigger and better until it's gonna manifest and you're gonna say okay that's as far as I'm going with this one for now but that's manifested but there's more along the way there's more in the tube coming along you see we want you to get the feeling of if you were a sculptor who was loving your life of sculpting clay you would never want to run out of clay and as soon as you finished one sculpture, you'd be looking for another pile of supple clay to get your hands in. And that's the way you feel about these thoughts. You are molding life with your thoughts, you see. And these thoughts come to bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, better word, bolder, bolder, better word, more discernible, more discernible, more discernible, more discernible thought, more focused, more focused. And now let's put the big description on it, satisfying, 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 satisfying. Your inner being has gone far beyond your ability to comprehend. But the potential for feeling all of that satisfaction is there with you. And your inner being is always offering to you through your path of least resistance as much as you are able to receive and experience the satisfying benefit of. Folks, we're out here on the leading edge. You might have come to create a car <laughs> or more money. And we want all of that for you. But we want you to understand that until you are able to comprehend the notion of there being power in a mood that feels good, and until you are willing to work for that mood and that mood only, and then recognize that that mood brings clarity and clarity and clarity and impulse and impulse and impulse, and then you stand later on with the manifestation of something and you recognize all of the pieces were part of it and so the manifestation now is the embodiment of all that satisfaction that's why manifestations feel so good because they include all that you've done about them before but when you get hooked on only one in the manifestation then you cut yourself off from the joyous journey and then you're standing in the absence of the manifestation and the absence of your way along your way to it you got that didn't you yeah. So I can stay in that place of just the pondering, the thinking. It's not so much and I have to write a script or a, anything. It, it's more about... Esther's been trying to get the juice out of this notion because she lived such a profound difference in two manifestations that seemed identical. Seemed identical but felt entirely different in terms of satisfaction. And then she came to a new, once again, conclusion that satisfaction is what life's about. So that's what I want. So how can I get this satisfaction out of everything rather than that lack of satisfaction? And so she began taking a thought and just pondering that thought more. Writing a word, pondering that word more thinking about it, making statements about it, talking about it, if she felt good, if she felt like it, any subject. Right now it's Christmas time, so she's thinking about how can I put the satisfaction factor in the gifts that I give for this handful of people? How can they feel satisfaction? And so she's been wanting to get juices flowing. Mm, far more than what would you like for Christmas? Why? What's good about that? You ever played with one of those? Doesn't look like much fun to me. What's fun about that? Think you play with it long? 
Think you'd want to play with it for the rest of your life? Think you'll learn something from playing with that? Think you want to wake up in the night and play with that? Think you want to take it to bed with you? <laughs> think you want to have it under the sheets while you're playing with it in the night? And everybody thinks you're asleep, but you've got it in there. So like, you think you ever want to turn it off? You want to just keep. She wants to get some juices flowing. She wants there to be satisfaction factor in the gifts that are unwrapped on Christmas morning. She doesn't want it to be. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, it's another horse. Oh, it's a horse. It's a horse. It's a horse. <laughs> It's a horse. It's a horse. I was hoping for a lion and I got a horse. <laughs> got a horse. Got a horse. We've gone a long way here today. Five minutes over time, in fact, for this segment. So often what you think you're looking for is the manifestation. And we're looking for the satisfaction factor leading up to the manifestation. We want you to have the most awesome manifestations. But more than that, we want it to be delicious all the way along. Otherwise, it can't be like that when the manifestation comes. And there are far too many humans trying to fill the void with stuff and things and relationships and fill the void, just fill the void, fill the void, and then wondering why they don't feel very good. And it's because the energy wasn't flowing consistently. And so it didn't get big enough to really resonate with who you really are. So good. So good. Enough? Can I ask you what you got from the movie? What we explained to Esther about it was the piece of it that was so good for Esther was that the projection of thought was happening vibrationally. They were just making sounds that were not meaningful to anyone. But along with those sounds, the woman that was predominant in the movie was receiving blocks of thought. And those blocks of thought were creating within her emotions that they were trying to convey. So all they were wanting to convey to her were emotions that you all want to put words to. And that's why she'd have a block of thought about something, and then she'd have that feeling. And that feeling was what they were wanting to convey. So they knew that they had accomplished the communication, which is the way your life shows you. It's exactly what we're wanting you to feel from your own life experience. Your emotions let you know that you are on the track of who you really are. And unless you're on the track of who you are, you cannot be happy. And so humans say, why are we here? And we say, it's triad of intentions of freedom and growth and joy. And you say, oh, that's very interesting. Freedom and growth and joy. And we say, freedom and growth and joy. Yes, they are equal. Freedom and growth and joy. And you are so free, you can choose bondage and growth is inevitable. And if joy is your quest, then you've got it. And humans say, yes, Abraham, we hear you. Growth, 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 growth. <laughs> we say, yes, growth is part of it. It's freedom and growth and joy. If joy is your quest, if satisfaction is your quest, if feeling good is your quest, then the growth which is inevitable will happen, but you will be joy joyful in your never-ending expansion. We hear you, Abraham. Growth, growth, growth. Yeah, yeah. We made some real progress here. We enjoyed this immensely. Good time for a segment of